in today's video i'm going to be ranking nine hypothetical ap courses that the college board should add to the ap course list if you guys don't know what the college board is it's the infamous company that creates ap exams and also administers the sat so without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into it so first we have ap philosophy now without a doubt i would say this has to be a must-have it only makes sense to have ap philosophy if you have ap psychology and ap human geography ap philosophy would be just a tremendous a phenomenal course it would introduce students to major philosophical concepts and thinkers throughout history now i feel like the one downside of this course would be the fact that it is such an open course the philosophy is just such an open you know area of study i feel like majoring in philosophy would also be very difficult so having an ap course based on philosophy would be very hard to administer and the ap exam i feel like would also be very hard to administer because ap exams are straight up and philosophy isn't really a straight up area of study and i feel like it would be hard to find teachers to teach philosophy as well but regarding all of that i would still say that it is a must-have course and if the college board is interested in getting students to actually be interested in AP course they take, I feel like AP philosophy would definitely be at the top. So next we have AP astrobiology, which would explore the possibility of life beyond Earth, studying exo exoplanets, the origin of life, and extraterrestrial intelligence. Now, that sounds actually pretty interesting to me. So I would say this is interesting. I wouldn't say this is a must have because I don't think any, not a lot of people would be interested in this. I feel like a alternative to this would be AP Astrology, which I think would be a very interesting course. At my school, they only teach astrology. They don't even have an honors course for it. So I know a lot of people out there really like astronomy and aerospace engineering and so forth. So I feel like AP Astrology would be a very interesting course. And so would a AP Astrobiology as well. So next we have AP Computational Biology, which combines biology and computer science, using computational tools to analyze biological data and solve biological problems. So the combination between biology and computer science is really weird, I would say. I don't know if those two go together very well, so I would just have to put this in decent. I feel like this course, I feel like it would be an interesting course, but at the same time, I feel like it'd be very broad. And I feel like it'd be a little too easy because computer science is already regarded as one of the easiest courses. Yet AP Biology is actually a pretty difficult course. So I don't know how that mix would work. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in decent here. So next we have AP Data Science, which teaches students how to extract insights from large data sets using statistical and computational methods. So this is basically AP Statistics, uh, but in a different name. <laughs> uh yeah i don't know i feel like this would be pretty bad i wouldn't personally i wouldn't take this course i don't know what the difference would be between this and ap statistics if anyone knows let me in the com let me know in the comment section down below but yeah i wouldn't say i would take this course it doesn't sound very interesting to me and personally i don't think it sounds interesting to you so i would say that this would be a bad ap course but you know the college board they love to add bad ap courses so i wouldn't be surprised if this was the next one they added onto their list so next we have ap quantum computing which introduces students to the principles of quantum mechanics and how they can be applied to develop quantum computers and algorithms wow that sounds very complex obviously this is going to have to be in the top tier ap quantum computing because there's so many smart people out there like people that watch my videos they're very smart i know a lot of you guys that comment down below or love physics or love mathematics and people in my discord which you guys should join link in description are love they just fanatics of mathematics it's crazy so i feel like this would be a great course to reward students that love mathematics and engineering and science and all of that and i don't know what quantum mechanics is i think it sounds complex so I feel like this would be a very hard course to teach. I feel like the exam would be so difficult that the curve would be insane, just like AP Physics. But yeah, I feel like this would be an interesting course and I would love to see, you know, students that love mathematics take it. So next we have AP Game Theory, which explores the mathematical theory of strategic decision making and game types, equilibrium concepts, application economics, politics, and biology. Um, the name is very it doesn't sound like what it sounds like if that makes sense it's very misleading um i'm going to put this in garbage it doesn't sound like an interesting course if i would read ap game theory i would think about making games um 
so yeah i feel like that would be in garbage too now if there was a course dedicated to making games i feel like that would be a very interesting course and i would probably put that in an interesting tier but this course does not seem like that is what it is so i'm gonna go ahead and put that in garbage tier and if you guys disagree with any of these rankings please feel free to put them in the comment section down below this is only to my belief not to anybody else's so if you just if you have a different opinion than me feel free to express it so next we have ap geometry which is basically a more advanced geometry now i know a lot of you guys are gonna flame me for this but i would feel like this would be not that bad of a course i feel like this would be an interesting course geometry is one of the fundamentals of mathematics even though i hate geometry with a passion it is a very important class to take you know people say oh i took geometry and now i don't have to use it anymore when you get into that when you get up into very complex mathematics i think geometry will come back to haunt you so i would have to put geometry in interesting tier and and you know there's so many like i said there's so many people that love mathematics why not have ap geometry i feel like that'd be an interesting course um i feel like it wouldn't be too hard to teach it would just be more advanced geometry because geometry itself is pretty straightforward so yeah i think like that'd be easy to teach easy to learn and would help benefit those that love mathematics so why not next we have ap biomathematics which would basically be a combination of biology and mathematics now this is similar to acp astrobiology um but i would say this is going to ooh, i put it in interesting tier i would say this is in front of ap geometry um but below ap biology i feel like the combination of mathematics and biology would be very interesting and i feel like that's a skill you definitely should have if you want to go into that field of study so yeah it's a pretty interesting course i wouldn't say it's too hard to teach i wouldn't say it's too difficult uh a difficult of a concept i wouldn't say the cl class is going to be easy the class is probably going to be hard but i feel like it'd be just an interesting course and last but not least we have the honorable mention ap range a lot of you guys commented this in my videos a lot of you guys were making a bunch of jokes about funny ap courses and ap lunch was one of them that really caught my attention and this is obviously going to be the top of the top in s tier nothing can be ap lunch all you do is eat lunch and you get a one point gpa boost who wouldn't want that obviously that's this course is not ever going to exist the college board is never ever going to add this course um so sorry to break it to you but i feel like this would be a funny course uh, just to you know throw in there get some giggles but yeah and now we have some honorable mentions there's some that i might have missed some that you guys think would be good but i didn't mention and if you guys have some put them in the comment section i would love to make a part two but some honorable mentions i have is ap linear algebra i feel like that would be a god tier course for people that love mathematics that would go all the way up above s tier ap linear algebra would be amazing i feel like it'd just be so hard to teach because linear algebra is already a college course so i don't think professors would want to teach that to high school students when they can just teach it in college so that's the issue with that course in one of my previous videos actually i mentioned ap calculus 3 or multivariable calculus as an ap course that's another honorable mention i would say this would obviously be an s tier but once again it's going to be very hard to find teachers to teach this course but i feel like it'd be a god tier course for those that love mathematics because who wouldn't want to continue taking ap math courses and last but not least honorable mention we have ap algebra a b and b c imagine instead of ap algebra 1 and 2 you had ap algebra a b and ap algebra b c honestly why do i feel like the college board would pull a move like that out of their sleeve in like the next 10 years because i wouldn't be surprised if these courses started to exist and if you guys also think these courses would probably exist please drop a like and subscribe uh, i want to thank everybody for all of the support lately um i'm already at 200 subscribers in less than two months so if you guys aren't already hop on the bus and help me reach 1000 subscribers by the end of the school year and as always i'll see you guys in the next video